Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In a previous video, we have added Add Employee button. And once the user click on Add Employee button, it is navigating to Add Employee page. In this video, we are going to design Add Employee page. So we are going to basically create a form with employee first name, last name, and email. All right. So let's head over to VS Code ID and go to Add Employee component okay and within the add employee component we are going to we are going to first create the employee first name last name and email state so let's use use a state hook to have a first name last name and email state is state hook and let's give state name as first name all right and initial value give empty okay so look at here first name is a string so initial value let's give empty okay and if you can see here set first name is a function which changes the state value here the state variable is first name and make sure that you import use state at a top so let me import that quickly within a curly braces use state okay use state from a react library all right so similarly let's let's use use state for last name and email id fields let's call use state and let's have a state variable name as last employee and initial value empty as it is a string so we can give initial value as empty similarly let's use use state hook for email id email id and give initial value as empty again perfect now we have first name last name email id state and whenever you know users submit the form the form data will be stored in these three fields that's why we have just declared here by using use state hook okay just we have declared these state variables empty using use state hook okay now go to here within a return we have a div so let me get rid of this h1 header and here we are going to first have a div with a class name container okay so within this div we have one more div with the class css class row okay so within this div we are going to create a one more div and let's use css classes something like card and then offset okay so what we are going to do is we are going to add a box to the form that's the reason here i'm using card css class name okay and within this div we are going to use h2 header and let's use header something like add employee and we are going to align at the center for that let's go and let's add a bootstrap css class that is text center okay and uh, after that we are going to create one more div and let's use css class name something like card body perfect now within this div we are going to create a form within a form let's create a div and bootstrap css class something like form group okay and bottom margin something like margin button let's u2 okay and within this div let's have a label and uh, we have standard bootstrap css class for label that is form label okay and let's do label name something like first name this is employee first name so after label let's use input control element to take the form input 
okay and input has attributes like type let's say text and then we have placeholder let's give placeholder something like enter post name okay and we have a name so let's give name something like first name and uh, we have css class for input field something like form form control okay and we have value so value let's let's give first name so make sure that you uh, you give post name from the from the use state so here we have post name as a state variable name right that we can access by using curly braces and we have on change function within the curly braces let's have arrow function we're gonna pass a form event and then arrow function and we're gonna use set first name method to you know to add this text data to the first name okay so here we have a set first name right this function we use to change the value of the state and here we are using same function to change the state of the the value of the state okay and uh, how we can get the value we can get the value by using this event e dot target dot value so this is how we get a value from the event and that value will be assigned to first name state variable by using set first name method all right we have done for first name now similarly let me quickly copy this and let's have an input field for last name let me change accordingly last name and here placeholder let's say enter last name and name should be last name and value should be last name and here we want to use set last name method to set the last name value to last name state variable perfect now similarly let's do it for email field let me copy this let me paste it here and this should be email id and type we can give email enter email id okay and uh, name should be email id and value should be email id state variable and here we are going to use set email id method to change the value of email id state variable perfect now we have defined three input fields first name last name and email now we're gonna create a button to submit the form so just after due here before closing form we're gonna add a button button and just close the button here and within the button we're going to add a bootstrap CSS class let's say button button success okay and then we have on click on click function and uh, within a curly basis we are going to again use the arrow function let me pass the form event arrow function and uh, we are going to call function name something like save employee and i'm going to pass event to the save employee method now let's go ahead and let's create a save employee method so let me go at the top just top of the return statement we are going to have a save employee function again here i'm going to use arrow function guys all right and we have passed the event so we can pass e here e, e stands for event and then we are going to prevent default so basically whenever we submit the form we are not going to refresh the page okay to in order to prevent uh, refresh the page we just have a prevent default method okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable something like let's say 
um, const okay employee we want to define object here and we get all the state variable data that is first name last name and email id okay and here i'm just putting a console to just see whether data will be available here or not i want to just print employee object perfect now what we want to do is we want to test whether this save employee method uh, able to get this data from the form or not okay just save the file and head over to browser all right so look at here we haven't given name to the button that's why this looks like this let me quickly fix that so go to button here and here just give button name something like save or submit and save the file and go back to browser and you can be able to see here we got a submit button and at the top you can see the box is touched to header right so in order to fix this one we're gonna add some break statement here so let's say br and let's say one more br and save the file and go back to browser and you can able to see now it looks good right perfect now let me inspect and go to console and uh, just add first name ramesh last name further email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com hit submit and there we go we got first name last name email id right so we have printed this employee data form employee data to the console by using console.log right great it means that we have successfully created a react form and we successfully able to get first name last name email id from the employee form in save employee uh, method in next video what we'll do we'll uh, we'll make a rest api call uh, and we'll send this form data to the rest api and rest api internally save this form data into database all right guys great i will see you in next video